Sup, people? Welcome back to Two Days Today here on 48 Hours. We're going to get through this show lickety split, yer. Straight away. I'm just going to drop some random facts on your head. Some random facts on me. We're going to get straight into the business. Random facts on your head top. That's one. What is it? How many Tic Tacs do you reckon there are on a box of normal size Tic Tacs? Uh, 50. It's 38. Tic Tacs. No, I'm not far off, you know. It's pretty far off. I was within 20%. Were well, you? Yeah. Go on, check that mess w- real quick. Within six. Anyway. Hey? Oh, no. It's- yeah, it was twenty five percent. You're about a third off. Okay. Anyway, what temperature is the same in Fahrenheit and in Celsius? It's not zero. It's like five. Was it minus forty? I got it wrong then. See facts. Don't say you never learn nothing on YouTube. You're learning. Anyway, first actual segment. First segment up. Blind ranking. I'm gonna go again. You going first? Of course. Of course. All right, then go on, hit me. You ready? First up, London. London. Mm-hmm. Three. London gets a three. Hell yeah. Next, the Michelin Man. The Michelin Man? Yeah. The geezer on tyres? Michelin Man. That guy. Like a eight? Wow. He's got to stay low. He's got them mixed up. Got them messed up. Well, to be fair, I like it that he's, he, he's the one that does all the Michelin stars. So it's that company. I know. But uh, yeah, for the, him himself, the, the the logo, I don't condone. That guy. I don't condone that. You don't no. like that guy? I don't like that guy. What's wrong with that guy? Just looks like a, I don't know, like a constricted Ghostbuster geezer. Isn't he? Not uh, for me. Not seen Ghostbusters, bro. Potpourri. Potpourri, nine. This is useless. Potpourri, it smells good. I censored myself there. I hope you appreciate that in the edit. But yeah, no, I've, that's useless. Potpourri doesn't smell. It smells good. I've got hay fever. It's got to be, it's got to be nine. Yeah, I don't even, how do you spell that? Potpourri. Potpourri. It's like Chihuahua as well. It's like P-O-U-P-O-U-P-E-R-I. That's probably wrong. I'm going to put it as Potpourri or Puppetry and put it at nine. There you go. I put Potpourri. The fourth is salt. Salt's up there. What have we got? Salt's going for a, a two for me. A two for salt. Yeah, that's, I want salt up high. Salt, people underestimate. I think it's like dangerous, but all it does is it makes food taste good. If you have too much of it, you can. Yeah, you, you counteract it with more water. There is something on my head. What if you're not eating water? You can't eat water. So I eat water. You need to drink water. I salt number two, mate. Easy. Up fifth, astrology. Uh, I'm going to give that a seven. Seven for astrology, astrology. is in the study of... Actual space and stars, or you mean star signs? Astrology in both terms. Oh, the study. And I'll share it then. Okay, I'm go six. The study and the meta. The the horoscope element, like a twelve. What the hell, man? It's, it's just pointless. Yeah, but it makes sense. Today you are feeling aroused. What's like, the opposite like, of niche? Broad. Broad. Yeah, they very, give, they, they give broad, you like some vague. broad statement. They're like, yeah, like... yeah I'm, I'm gonna give it that. Well, no, I can't give it. An, I'm gonna give it a seven then because I've already given eight and nine away. So. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Up next, Fast and Furious 4. Oh, yeah. That's the first one with... Uh, that's the first... No. Is that the first one with Dwayne Johnson in? Not a clue. I feel like it's not. It's the fourth film. Three is Tokyo Drift. Four... No, Paul Walker comes... Oh, yes. I think that's the introduction of Hobbs. And, of, of Hobbs. So... It was the second lowest ranked Fast and Furious 4. If, if that's the first one with Hobbs, that must be the first one with Chris Hemsworth, really fit wife. So I'm going to put that one four. Oh, Fast and Furious fast 4, four got four. Fast 4 gets... Fourth place. I enjoy those. I enjoyed them when I was younger, yeah, but now, yeah. now they're a bit like, oh. It's, it's one as soon as Aquaman was in there, I was like, right, It's okay, one yeah, above Fast you. X as the worst Fast really? and Furious films, yeah. Oh, well. Double Denim, up next. Uh, on you, you pull it off. Like, on me, that would, that would be... It's just Double Denim, mate. That would be horrendous. What we got here? Canadian Tuxedo. I'm going to go six, Double it. Denim. I'm so far, I've got, some, I've got some good spread here. Have you not already done six? No, I've got three, eight, nine, two, seven, four, and six now. Your cocktail's up next. Oh, go on. A Long Island iced tea. Oh, so dead. I don't like Long Island iced tea. You don't? I've, I've just, I'm saving the top and the bottom horrendous ones, but I've, I've got a bad one spot coming up. I can feel it, but... What are your two that you've got left? A Long Island, I've got... Numbers. One and ten. One and ten, okay. <laughs> I need both ends of the spectrum here. You because, do. well, wait, it depends where I put this one. I'm put Long Island at five, because it's better than, yeah, it's better than Double Denim, but it's not as good as Fast Four, so... Okay. Let's go. Because I don't really drink Long Island iced tea. I like a, a Mai Tai or a, you know, all sort of like really spicy drinks. Go on. A perfectly cooked steak. Boy. Yeah, boy. Did I cook it? Oh, yeah, it's perfectly cooked. I don't know if you cooked it. No, that's in one. I don't know if Salt Bay cooked it. Someone could have cooked on. it. I want Guga from Guga Foods to cook me one of his Guga steaks because it would be sous vide like I do mine. It will be blowtorched like I do mine. And it would be perfectly seasoned because I copied him. So, yeah, if Google, you're watching, take that. Number one spot, Sean. Google food, cooking me steak, bosh. Perfectly cooked steak, number one. What what number have you got left? I've only got ten. This is the worst thing. So this is worse than pulpourri for me as a hay fever sufferer. The last thing is your... Let's uh, let's do your one. Hell yeah. Yeah? You can like your one. 
Are you ready, Sean? Yep. Up first, your shadow. My shadow? Yeah, where are you rating your shadow? My own shadow. Your own shadow. Look, it's right there on the wall. He's always um, with you. Where are you putting your shadow on your list? In my shadow a nine. A nine? Why are you yeah. starting off low? Oh, I mean, it's pretty useless to oh, me. I don't know. It doesn't do much. Fair enough. Henry VIII, Pop Monarch. I'll give him eight. You know, he's, you know he ain't big simping. I'll give him <laughs> eight. An eight? Yeah. He's keeping him low. Fair enough. Jeff Hardy's Swanton Bomb. Oh, devastating. <laughs> circa what year? Oh, circa whatever year you want. Oh, okay, so that's the perfect Swanton Bomb. Oh, perfect Swanton Bomb from the top of a Hell in a Cell. Like, nah, nah, nah. Cage match. He's never hit know. a good one from the top of Oh, it. fair enough. How many is do you hit from Good ones from ladders. Okay, from ladder then, there you go. Yeah, the Swanton's from a ladder through the tables. Matt yeah. Hardy's laid on the table with a chair over his head. He did it to his brother. Yeah. Sad, man. Sad. He's been doing that for years. Love to do that to you, just bush. <laughs> Even this. I'll give I it a would. four. Four, yeah? Yeah. That's high. Glad you said that, because the next one up is jumping. Jumping? Yeah. Just jumping. Jumping. Uh, In general, jumping. just l- jumping and landing that's on earth. That's pain, though. <laughs> jumping causes pain. What are you going to do, though? Defender's got to be better at jumping, though. Uh, I'll give jumping a seven. You want to keep that low? Guy's got all the injuries. Jumping can have a seven. Okay. Trains. Trains? Yep, trains. Like that guy trains? Or no, like just choo-choo. Choo-choo. Trains. I'm it's talking pretty London, pretty South, u- Great Southwestern. Pretty useful, aren't they? Pretty useful. I'll give trains two, you know. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, that's two sad. trains. I just wrote out my phone and said that. Exactly, go. All right, up next, Mount Kilimanjaro. Ten. That's a ten. Yeah, I do not care. About <laughs> that, what is this? It's just a big rock. That's, just, that's real quick. Oh, Actually, two ten. tectonic plates that are pushed up on one another created yeah, and a, created a big rock. Created, cool. a, yeah, big, created a big rock. A big thing. All right, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, the YouTuber, obviously the lowest one I got left. Uh, six. six. YouTube boxing. Doing he slaps no, you up. No, <laughs> he don't last. He dies. Rounds. He doesn't okay. walk again. Six for Mr. Beast. Not many left. Swimming. Swimming's one. Swimming is one. Swimming gets one. Are oh, you devastated? No, I'm not. You've done. You've done. Number done one. Howler. Number one be swimming. Number one be swimming. Where does yeah. Dwayne Johnson fit in then? The Rock. Um, Dwayne Johnson, but prime, before the big tattoo, just the Chicago Bulls tattoo. I didn't like him then. What? I didn't like him then. You didn't like him then? Ah. Well, you love him I now? Only, I only started recently liking him. Well, that one then? My favourite iteration. Your favourite iteration, whatever you want to call it. Gets five. Gets five? Yeah. That's all you got left up there, isn't it? No. No? That's the lowest one I had left. That's the lowest you got left. Yeah. The Sun. The Sun? What, the newspaper? No, the Sun. Just the big old ball of the gas in the air. Is. The thing you need. To survive. Oh, I don't need the sun. Sun in at three. So my list is from ten up, Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah. Definitely the worst thing you said. My shadow, ninth. That's fine by me. Henry the eighth and eighth. Because, mm-hmm. you know, Henry is eighth. Seven is jumping. Probably hmm. could have been lower. Mr. Beast in six. Definitely could have been lower. Five was The Rock. Yeah. Mr. Dwayne. Acting career, not the best. But wrestling career, very good. We like him. The fourth was Jeff Hardy's Swanton Bomb. That's decent. Perfect. Third was the sun. Second was trains. And first was swimming. Yeah, I banged it. Fair enough. I banged it. Is there anything about your list you would change? Yeah. Number nine, I had Paul Perry. Yeah. I'm okay with both of those. In eight, the Michelin Man. I'm still happy. Seven, astrology. I'm still happy. Six, double denim. Still happy. I don't think anything was was wrong there. Up in five, Long Island Ice Tea. Thought that was a bit a bit high on the on the list yeah. there, but I wouldn't swap it for anything either. Fast four. Mm-hmm. Couldn't put it any higher really because. Three, two, and one. London, home, born, bred, where we are right now. Let's go, as you can probably hear. South of London. Not the most dangerous place. We vote the most dangerous place in London. Apparently, North London, they'll talk. South London, they'll stab. Ah. And we are from Croydon as well, which is apparently the worst place. We don't live there now, but... But in London? Yeah. So the worst place to live in London is apparently south in the Croydon area. Oh. I feel like we should get oh. mum moved. <laughs> I never had a problem. Exactly. Number two, salt. Mwah! Which leaves me beautifully on to number one. Which is a Google, perfectly cooked sous vide, ribeye steak, nice and thick, nice and juicy, cooked medium rare. Talk to me. Hi. My list was exquisite. Better than last week, where you had Much the name Sam week. at number two. Go. Cool. Yeah, Sean. Did they take it too far? Oh yeah, go on. Did they take it too far? It better yeah. be better than last week, because last week was was not enough. Well, two out of ten. On depends the what you define better as. We'll see. This one is from you slash striking factor five yep. two eight nine. The title is Continuously Kick My Seat on Flight, Get Your Belongings Soaked. Okay. Now, you're a, you're a man who travels a lot, sits in front of lots of people, I should. I do. So, we'll get your opinion on it. I don't normally have kick. many issues, though. They can see my whole head over the top of the seat. This happened a few years ago when I was flying to Canada for a trip. 
Midway through the flight, I was awakened by the person behind me kicking my seat. I thought, I thought it was a kid, so I ignored it. A few minutes of non-stop kicking, I turned around and saw that it was a guy in his mid-twenties. I asked him politely to stop and could hear him and his friends snickering, saying something in a language I did not understand. He stopped for a moment but restarted. So I took my water bottle and slowly emptied it on top of his backpack that was under my seat. Mm. I heard him freak out when we landed and it was satisfying. Okay. Did he take it too far? No. What do you mean, no? No. What? That is way too far. That is sly. That is way too far. I mean, he could have damaged medication, could have damaged electronics, could have damaged stuff. But this this stuff, for me, this stuff isn't instant enough. Like, nothing ever happens to me like this. Like, it's really frustrating. Like, if someone started kicking my seat, I would just lean over the back and just go, and that's it. Yeah, they, would, they would immediately stop. This guy probably don't look like you. Yeah, probably. Is the issue We've got to need some description. Is it a woman? Is it a man? I don't know. There's no context Striking here. factor. But listen, if it's, let's assume it's a man. We can't assume genders now. Okay. Let's assume <laughs> it's a cis man. If it's a cis white male. Who is in his 40s. an incel. <laughs> he's in his 40s. Instead of talking to someone, he decided to tip water in their bag. He's definitely an incel. I mean, he may have tried, and then... They spoke a different language, so he decided to soak his bag. What was he soaked in? Water. Water, just a water bottle. Oh. No, I don't think that's too far. It's way if too far. If it was Coke Zero, maybe, or if it was like, I don't know, syrup. What if but... the guy that is sat behind him just happens to have ADHD and can't stop bumping his leg? What, like this? Yeah. Oh, right. And some, Because he's got long legs, that hits the chair. Yeah, well, you, you would apologise. You wouldn't be mid maybe he apolo- Maybe he apologised in that... By sniggering, in another language. Yeah, maybe they... Then sn- carried on doing it. Yeah, because he's got a shaky leg. He can't maybe. help it. Yeah, but it was halfway through the flight. It just started. That, that's not he was asleep. Works. Maybe you it was going the whole time. Or you don't bounce. Maybe till... it was going the whole time. Maybe. It was maybe. asleep for half the flight. No, I think I, I think that's better than last week with the, the changing pictures slightly. And uh, no matter who I told about that, I was like, no, I didn't go far enough. Photoshop in someone's head, 25% bigger than every picture. 25 times bigger, maybe, but not 25%. 25% bigger. It's just slightly enough to make sure your eyes notice. don't notice it. I wouldn't notice. No, because your head's huge. I would not notice. Well, I mean, if it was a picture <laughs> of us... Right, so I'm all zoomed in. If it was a picture of us together, I would notice if you made mine, because yeah. we'd have the same size head. <laughs> and my nose would be huge. Yeah, it would. No. <laughs> no, I don't think they've gone too far. I think this. I think it's way too far. You think that's way too just just a way bit of water far. on the bag? Not a bit of water. He emptied an entire water bowl onto his bag. Half a water bowl. A whole water bowl. Oh, whole onto water bag. Bowl. Would have been mad. Should have put something in it. It would have been too far if it was sticky. But it's just water. It will dry. An hour later, that problem's gone on its own. Nah, mate. If just, you, just if you get someone a... back, he ruined your whole flight. He didn't ruin yeah. his whole flight. He slept for the first half of the flight. Yeah, he ruined half your flight. <laughs> Don't give him a problem that lasts an hour. Give him a problem that lasts three hours. Make him replace his bag. That's too far. If he keeps going... Doesn't spend any money. Why do you only talk to him once? Yeah, well, true, yeah. Just turn around again and be like, yo! Yeah, yeah, stop it. Stop kicking Find it. Language is, where are you flying from? Surely that's where he's going to be from. If you kick my chair again, I will recline my seat into your head. Exactly. And then Fair you've enough. warned him. If there's warning, you can't go too far. There no. was no warning. He didn't say, if you kick my chair again, I'm going to soak your stuff. Yeah. He would have just moved his stuff. Oh, so you reckon he did it on the side? He was thinking about this. I don't think he's gone beforehand. too far. I think he's just been a bit of a... Can I say it? No. Okay, I, I think he's just been a bit of a coward. He's been unconfrontational. Yeah, I think he's he just have been, been a bit sly, a bit like underhanded, but it's not too far, no. I think it's just the right far. I think he should have spoke his way through it a bit more rather yeah. than have a conversation. Have the fight. Oh, we it's can't, a 25-year-old. We right. can't talk to each other, so I'm going to tip water on your bag. Yeah, That's petty. No, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not up for petty. If somebody tipped water on my bag because I kicked their chair and kept kicking their chair, I'd be like, fair enough. If I'd have noticed right. mid-flight, he'd have had the worst flight of his life. <laughs> If he'd so walk something like that. The last flight. Was like, I'd, have, I'd have killed him. Yeah, <laughs> killing people is fun. No, rear did, naked choke. Did they, go, did they go too far? No. In my opinion, no. Fair. I think they went just far enough. Just, I think the, the toe's on the line. I think it's still a white flag. No, That's no, a long no. jump reference. This is, You're welcome. This is a unnecessary roughness defense. <laughs> flag on the player. Nah. You want to hit me with my options first? Oh, yeah. I'm go- 100% I'm going to on this one. Right, okay. So, your options are yep. Dubai circa 2030. Okay. So, yeah, so I have no idea about After all it. the fad and there's some tax now. Okay. Your favourite chip place, probably our business. Devastating. Jeff Bezos's lawyer. Yeah. That guy. And Lord Farquhar from Shrek. Okay. Damn. He, got, he got castled though. <laughs> he got castled. I'm killing Dubai. You're killing Dubai? Yeah. Why is that? I'm like thinking about the future and <laughs> that's too far away in my opinion. Okay. Six years. I ain't thinking about that's that. Six years forward. Get out of it. Gone. Mm. Dubai no longer exists in 2030. <laughs> it's been wiped out by sand. Because it's been killed by a singular man. Yeah. He definitely didn't use sand. Probably Jeff Bezos' lawyer. I will shag Jeff Bezos' lawyer and I'll marry Lord Farquhar. You'll marry Lord Farquhar. Yeah, man. In New, New Lock. Do Lock. Yeah, man. From. I feel like I gain nothing from Jeff Bezos' lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. Is that why you want to shag him, though? No, it's just the other option, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want to shag Lord Farquhar. I feel like he'd, he'd be small and grateful. 
Yeah, but I could marry him and live in his castle. Yeah, but then you've got to take that pound in weekly. No, I don't. Oh. Tiny, I just kick him. Yeah, but then he's you're not going to last, so he's going to kill you. He's a king. He can't kill me. Oh, we're married. No, he's Lord Farquaad. He's not yeah. even the king. He has no power. He's he can't just Lord. chop your head off. I'd no. be like, I'll call Shrek, boss. I've got Shrek's number. I, I, will, I, will call I did originally have Shrek on there, but I thought, nah, Lord Farquaad's well, more short. That's the easiest marry ever. Exactly. Isn't it? For Shrek. Dude's huge. Get out of my swamp. Dude's huge. I wouldn't be able to understand him. Come on then, let's go. So yours is. Let's have it. Gordon Ramsay's cooking. Yep. The brand Rolex and Steve Harvey. That's so mad. I don't want to kill Steve Harvey. No, oh, you got to kill something. Uh-huh. you got to marry something and you got to shag something. Okay. I'm, I'm shagging Gordon Ramsay's cooking. Okay. There okay. isn't a dish that man could cook that I wouldn't put my in, to be honest. You wouldn't put any of his food up? Yeah. Oh, just what? I wouldn't put it up. I would, no. I would enter it. Oh, okay. As opposed to the other way around. You'd shag a beef well then? Oh, it's, it's, I'd make sweet, tenderly love to that. I feel like that's beastly. And it would be so... <laughs> I mean... That's probably bestiality and necrophilia. Yeah, both. <laughs> Take them both, both off. Things. Right there, bam. <laughs> Completing the poker deck. Gordon Ramsay's, yeah, he's probably getting... Because uh, probably that would be that probably be the most comfortable shag. What? Other than... It's cooking. The brand Rolex. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to shag a watch. Big gap in the side of watch. You know what? I'm going to marry Steve Harvey. Yeah? And I'm going to kill Rolex. Oh, devastating. I love Rolex, obviously. But says while wearing an Apple Watch. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's everywhere, and... It's not niche. I, lo- I love them, but it's it's been like a, a long time, long term love. It's not niche enough now for you. Everyone seems to have one. Yeah, everyone's got one. It's good for me as a as a jewelry guy. Every every guy you bump shoulders with wearing a Rolex nowadays. Fine by me. Topic three favorites. Oh, three top three favorites. I I'm ready for this one. Yeah, I know. I'm interested to see what your second one is. So yeah. the topics are toothpaste, yeah. mathematical symbols, yeah. and Marvel characters. I'm ready for it. So your three favorite toothpastes. Without, not in any order, just three favorites. Oh, just well, I'll, I'll put them in sort of order. Just like, three favorite teeth. Oral B. Have you seen his teeth? Got to keep him hella white. I've got to do what the dentist recommends. Well, you showed, you always recommends Oral B. Mm. By the way, you just showed off your teeth by hiding your teeth with yeah. your top lip. <laughs> That's fair enough. And for all of those that can't see me right now, imagine paper. There's the teeth. Okay. Yeah. They're yeah. hella white, and yes, they're composite bonding. Yeah. That's it. But okay, not veneers. Did you ask? He did. They, no one asked. No, they didn't. <laughs> But I'm giving. I'm setting the scene. You're a story writer. You know this. Yeah, yeah. There you go. They've just gone. Oh, I wonder what his teeth look like. Imagine the sun. Boom. They They're go. yellow. Yeah. <laughs> Sun's not yellow. It's white. <laughs> the sun is yellow. It emits boss. white light. Any toothpaste off your finger. Like boom. That's top grim, tier. Mate. That is grim. No, when you're in a bush. When, you, when you're in a bind. Devastating. You can just anything you find in wherever you are, straight off the finger. That's it's, devastating, mate. It's 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 it tastes good. Awful. You've got a little bit of like whatever's on your hand there, like that's, soap. That's ridiculous. Hopefully, soap is that's what I was going for. And uh, and then the tiny one that's unbranded, you get on planes. Fair, yeah, that's a good one. That's, that's always top tier because you don't know what you're gonna get. That is just mint always. Though. Yeah, you just you like open that, you're like, poor, yeah. pure peppermint. Yeah, all the plosives for you to uh, edit out here, like. Pop, pop, pop. Well, I mean, no, my top three. Yeah. In no particular order, Colgate. That's so basic. Banging there. It's the one I'm using right now. It's like child's child's toothpaste. They had the cool tube. They had the cool tube when you were younger. Never making top. It was fun to use. Yeah. Yours is off your finger. You don't get. You don't get an opinion. I'll get off the finger though. Mm. Oral B is second. Yeah. In in between. We just gone for all the big brands. And then Sensodyne because I have sensitive teeth. So you just. I used to mix toothpastes. Mathematical symbols. Oh yeah, I'm ready for this. You went first last time. I'll go first this time. Minus. Minus. Yeah. Minus. Probably the best one. Why? Just because, like, it, it, it removes stuff from yeah. the, it just gets rid of it. Like, Fair you enough. don't have to worry about it no more. Equals. Yeah. Oh, I, I have equals, bro. So, so like, <laughs> necessary. Exactly. Limo, I almost went with squiggly equals, like. O- almost equals. Yeah, yeah almost. Appro- uh, approximately equal to. Yeah, yeah. But then I was like, it's that, nearby. that's a bit far. I actually had that one. I wanted to go for more than, not less than, but I didn't do that. I went with percentage <laughs> instead. You read my mind, boss. The percentage sign is the best sign. I have gone for greater than symbol because Carl, greater than Sean. Yeah, devastating. I have I have gone for equals because I love proving a point. Because equals, you know, you you prove. Yeah, something. but yours is definitely the squiggly equals. There. No, no, no. Mine is the actual. Because when you prove a point, it's like approximately. It's like right? Maybe, maybe I'm nearby. Yeah. Like like with the thirty eight out of fifty tic tacs. Yeah, yeah. But I I then put sigma, for my last one. Sigma. I love like I love adding up sequences, what, man. The theta symbol. Yeah, what, theta, what's, yeah. What sign sigma is sigma? Is, chuk, 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 for you guys. Chuk, 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 chuk. It's like they really the, the like, a graffiti three. Yeah, like similar to a the, Z. The yeah. big Z. Cool, not bad. But the percentage sign is perfect because it's this over this. Yeah, it's like, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. It's like an ampersand, like, where it's like, hard to draw. No, it's literally what it is. It shows you exactly what it is. Yeah. 
percentage. It's this over this, yeah, like this divided a, by this. Yeah, but it's equals just, a percentage sign is just a very yeah, big graffiti divide sign. No, 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 because it's wonky. Marvel characters. Three wasn't enough, man. I'm really three disappointed. Three is enough. I know. I need. I need honorable mentions. No, you don't. You get three. No, I we need don't. We don't. We mentions. don't mention honorable, honorable. There's no honorable mentions. In okay, this. fine. You've just given an honorable mention. I'm cutting out of the video. Oh, fine. You should have put him in if you wanted him in. That's fine. Ah, why are you kicking me? Why are your feet so close to me? Carry on. Get owned. I'm going first this you one. You are because no, you went the last one. Okay, Marvel characters number three for me, Killmonger. Okay. Really, really like him. Dedicated, it... honest, and a little psycho. Is it Killmonger or is it? It's not Michael B. Jordan. It's no. just Killmonger. Okay. It's he's not dedicated... just because you like Michael no. B. Jordan. No, he's dedicated. He's loyal. He's honest. He's loyal, is he? Well, his... He's loyal to himself. Turned his back on his. Yeah. So, no, on he his didn't guys. turn his back on anyone. He did. No, he was loyal to all of the people in his race outside of Wakanda. Yeah? yeah. We are a big Marvel fan base here. But uh, he is, again, I'll say it again and you'll put it in the video or the podcast because he is dedicated. He is loyal and he is psycho. Okay. Everything I like in my women. Sweet. There you go. Cool. <laughs> well, he's not loyal though. So. Well, at least he's dedicated and honest. Yeah, I mean, he is dedicated. Take that too. Honest. He did kind of like lie oh, about. Lied. I mean, he did. Okay. Now he's introduced as a lie. Are you going to do one of yours or am I going to. No, do all three. Oh, of yours, all three. Man. Okay, yeah, three. Yeah. Wolverine. Fair. Shredded. Cool. In over Deadpool. Shredded Devastated. OP. Shredded and OP. Dude got killed by a tree. Deadpool's not OP. Deadpool's not shredded. And he's not OP. Dude got killed by a tree. He got, yeah, yeah, because he's old. He got killed by a tree. He got because they were putting stuff in all of the uh, whiskey. And that was they knew that that's how they'd kill him. He got killed by a tree. He did get impaled by a tree when he's old. Gambit one shots Wolverine these yeah. days. No, no. None of he, Gambit couldn't have I'm about to make a nerve myself. <laughs> and then obviously honorable mention. Oh, up Bob. first for me is is Korg. Korg. Korg, yeah. He's, he's, guy's got about 60 words in the whole franchise. Korg is Easily rocks. the... Fu- Korg, yeah. The the director of Ragnarok. He is yeah. rocks. Rita Aurora's husband. He is rocks, but easily, when it comes to like words and funniness, that guy's the most efficient. He's got 60 words, whole franchise, the whole thing, and guy's one of the funniest characters. Okay. Didn't print enough pamphlets? Bosh. M- Mick's dead. Had me, uh, I stood oh, he's on dead. him on the bridge. He's dead. Oh, he's alive. Oh, Mick, oh, you're back. Those, those foundations are done. It's just the best. No, mate. I won't hear anything about it, but honourable mention Dibble, let's go. I celebrated when he got killed. Oh. And then he was still alive. He got, he got revived. Livid. He got Thor and Thunder. Oh, he's so annoying. Love Thor and Thunder. There you go. No, man. That film's awful. For me. Yeah. Ego. Really, Kurt Russell? S- Star-Lord's dad. So, a planet. The planet. A planet. He's so sick. Why? Imagine a dude being a planet. Imagine, I, can, I don't have to imagine. I can remember. Yeah, and it was sick. It wasn't sick. Best no. part of the, all those films. He was just manipulating. Best part of all those films was Ego. He just wanted to eat his children. And? You like a planet that eats his own kids. If I got stronger, if I ate my kids, I'd eat my kids. If you don't have any kids, thank God. Yeah, but I have the precursor of kids. What? Nuts. Well, <laughs> not nuts, but what comes out of them? I wouldn't get any stronger. There's no testosterone in them. <laughs> Up next is Hawkeye slash Ronin. My favourite Avenger is Hawkeye, and he has an alter ego, which is Ronin. Oh, so. yes. I thought you meant Ronin as in the guy that assassins who the guards nah. of the galaxy have to be. No, His no, aim no. is also Ronin. Similar. Yeah. yeah, but Hawkeye is like... When Scarlett oh, Johansson has to go and get him out of Japan because oh, yeah, he's a so samurai warrior. Yeah, he's he's basically dead. Really. The but the best the best comics Marvel ever met is yeah. the Ronin comics. So well, when yeah, yeah I'm a nerd. When Hawkeye yeah. was going psycho, his family disappeared. Yeah, oh, fair enough. And then and his, his, Hawkeye his killer is killer Mohawk. Hawkeye is the best of Venom. Mohawk I know what I hear. And then Venom. I was going to say Venom. Venom. I've I didn't got like have Venom. Venom. I'm surprised I don't have a Venom tattoo yet. Yeah. What what would you get? Just a big old tongue. His massive yeah. head. Yeah. The whole back piece. You are Venom. Yeah. There you go. That was for you. I like old school Venom more than current Venom. Though. Do you? Yeah. Right, now for the worst part of the show. Bad opinions. Yeah. Hurts me to read all of these. Oh, can't be worse than last I week. I got two. Can't be worse than last and week. They're both food related again. As long as it doesn't offend me with tea bags. Bad opinion from you slash you underscore chew. Yes. I always eat dessert before dinner at a restaurant. Okay. Now, I read that, and I was fine with the title. That's I was fine. like, the title's fine, I'll scroll past that. And then yeah. I actually went back and read her explanation, and what are we going on about here? When at a restaurant, waiting staff always find it weird when I order the dessert before the appetizer and the main course. Before the start. I mean, it is weird, but... They ask, oh, is that all you are having? I'm like, no, I just want my cheesecake first, please. Cheesecake okay. before the steak. Okay. I have to convince them that I'm... Just a dessert first kind of guy. I feel like the main course is much more enjoyable when your dopamine levels are boosted. Okay. So they made up a whole explanation because they they have a sweet tooth. I feel like you've assumed that it's made up. I don't know how dessert, because dessert is sugar related, is normally sugar based. Sugar does increase dopamine levels. 
Yeah. So I don't know how dopamine affects taste. You know what else increases dopamine levels? A cuddle. When you're smile. Hu- when you're hungry. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and eat. you eat food. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, how yeah. about you eat in the regular order? Yeah, but let's 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 break it down, Sean. Like dessert is all sugar designed not to make you more hungry, but designed to make you crave more sugar. And then you have like a, a starter, which is probably like what calamari or you know, know. fries. If you get your carbs first, you're prioritizing carbs. But I don't think it's outrageous, man. Like. I think it's weird, and but I, I don't know if their thing's true. So. I, would, I, would, I would not be able to go to a restaurant with this person. No, no absolutely not. You couldn't. They you would, couldn't order would scallops complete. and like on a creme brulee. You, I can't, that can't happen. You're no. getting scallops. Yeah, of course. Not weird. scallops. Weird. Now, now you got a bad opinion. Scallops. Yeah, man. Get out of here. You wind me up. You're off the podcast. You're wilding. I need someone to replace it. You're wilding. Any viewer. You're wilding. The address is... Sean gets knocked out. No... But no, this is where I couldn't. I mean, I, 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 I generally thought like dessert first, and then I was thinking like if I sat down at a restaurant, I went, yeah, so I'll have ice cream, and then yeah. I'll have I myself, my fish and chips. Uh, yeah, if you put in, if you're putting fish and chips in ice cream, that's different. That's different gravy. But yeah, but your stomach. I myself have walked into a very nice restaurant before and just ordered sides and starters. Yeah, I know. I've like done eight that. of them, I've and then that. just dessert and left. Like, I've done that without ordering. And eight. That's that's. So I'd be the best that's part of meals, ridiculous. That's not a ridiculous thing to say. Because like you're kind of hungry, but you're not too hungry because you ate before you went out, Yeah. which was silly. But you'd have been too hungry, and then you'd have been angry while yeah. at the restaurant. Yeah, we're but, snackers, though. So we're big. You ate right. a little bit, we snack. and then you were like, okay, I need to order something light. But then you order like four sides mm. or four starters. 100%. And then you're like, oh, dessert. It's got a separate stomach. But if you fill that stomach first, it's not a separate stomach. <laughs> that's right. This guy's weird. If you see like some... If you're there on a Sunday and you've got some dead light roast... Ice cream sundae. And you're oh, like, oh, 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 oh. it could be an ice cream sundae. If you're there and you've got some dead mains and the starters just look banging, you're looking around and they can see like chicken wings, they look really good. You've got calamari, oh, you've got hal- halloumi bites. Oh, like, you're getting it all. I'm sorry, it's coming. Scallops, no. Oh. Speaking a different language, boss. Anything with bacon in, it's getting, it's getting had. Anything with bacon? Yeah, boy. What you got? A pork kind of boy. But yeah, I'm going to have to move on to the next one because I don't, I don't think that's actually the most ridiculous thing you've said. Okay. Well, let's hit it. You forced my hand. I did. I'm ready. This is from a deleted account. Oh, that can't be good. So, sad already. The title is The Best Part of Yogurt is Not the Yogurt Itself. What do you think is coming here? If this mother ducker is about to eat the lid, I'm not going to be impressed. But when the yogurt sits out for a good deal of time and settles, leaving that wonderful liquid floating atop, drinking that liquid is so much better than the actual yogurt. I don't know what that liquid is. But it's not yogurt. I know what he is. And that's a sick, twisted human. Like, I just, that's just rough. You have to mix that stuff in or I, pour it out. I've thrown entire yogurts away because of that liquid. No, on. you mix that back up. No, no, like, no, surely no, no. that's just like... I've got to eat a yogurt without looking at the yogurt. Oh, yeah. Because like... I'll be like seeing stuff in the yogurt that I don't want. As a man that eats Greek yogurt every day, like, I don't want to see the liquid on the top. I don't want to see whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but I'm scared of it. Yeah, it's just not nice. Like I used to eat those little fromage frais yogurts. Yeah. When you open one of those, just out the fridge, it's got that weird, frais. weird like globule stuff on the top, and it's, it's like, like it's where it's like set in as well. There's like a chasm, and there's liquid in there, and you can yeah. see in there it's refracting everything. Yeah. So pull that out. I know that doesn't taste like anything because I've eaten this yogurt before, and it's not affected. Have the you ever taste eaten the, the, the liquid though? Not on its own. I've eaten a yogurt which has the liquid in. Yeah, but have you just drunk the liquid on the no. top to see what it is? I don't know what it is, but it scares me. It's just milk water, bruv. It's milk water. So it's condensation from the inside of the <laughs> from the yogurt part. And that's what it is. It's water. He's yeah. saying that yogurt the, isn't as good as the best part of this dairy product is is, is, is water. the stuff that's not in it. Yeah. <laughs> condensation, it Jimmy. That's what it's got to it, be. You can't. No. How else does it get in there? There's not like a couple of drips. There's like eight or nine mil there. Yeah. Right. Condensation be building up, bro. Con- condensation the from our fridge. <laughs> you don't get them in fruits, do you? No, because fruits don't have really have chance. You 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 like mess a fruit up before you play with it, before you eat it. You like whap it, don't you? No. Yeah, you got to get it out the end. Otherwise, a... you're gonna open it. It's gonna. Blah. What are you talking about? If you you like shake it. You shake so up a fruit, but it explodes. If you no, it's not soda. You got to peel it slowly. Make sure that's all no, good, I, and then I, you push no. the end in. I eat fruits the same way I eat jubblies or ice lollies. I put them at the back teeth and rip the top off. That's, that's it. grim. And then boom, squeeze it all out in one hit. That's better. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, worse than teabag sucker. That's not worse than teabag sucker. Teabag sucker will remain in position one, two, and three until someone like eats their own sh- or something like that. Like, um, just, uh, I mean, it, right now it is like yogurt drinker. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt drinkers yogurt, work than dessert guy. Yogurt water drinker. Yeah. Is 
nearly at number one for me. No, I was more. Yeah, but you're funny with texture. So. I, I've come to an agreement that teabag sucker isn't as weird as we made him out to be. No. Have you tried? Have you sucked a teabag since? I have. Well, then, how how is your opinion changed? Yeah, but I've looked at a teabag and gone, maybe. That look, maybe. It probably tastes like tea. We didn't even talk about that. It, it would probably taste like really strong tea. It probably tastes like tea, and the dude just likes tea. Yeah, but you know my teeth are going straight through that bag. Yeah, but he's sucking about the, the, no, the fact he chews on The, the thing about me, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you some stuff about me. I want you to try and guess them, to okay. be honest. Who was my idol growing up? Silent podcast. Your idol growing up? List like five off, see if you get one of them. John Cena? No. Stone Cold Steve Austin? Before me. He was before me. He was. He's definitely a wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Randy Orton? There you go. Bam. Oh, there you go. Bingo. So that was your big idol, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll okay, out nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's... Randy Orton was my guy. I'll be yeah. posing like him still to this day. Yeah, true. Go on, show us. I can't. I'll be, off, I'll be off camera. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you would be. Isn't that. it just big arms out, like Little really muscles. wide? Just... No, it's above your head. It's like it's a lat spread, but also bicep, double front bicep. Yeah. Oh, I see. But... He doesn't curl his arms, does he? I thought he was like that. Yeah, it's in a bit, though. Oh, okay. So he, he like pops the bicep. Oh, I see. Good man. Yeah. Right. And then uh, what basketball team do I support? Basketball team? Yeah. I have one. Lakers? Chicago Bulls? No. You got the first syllable there. C. Cleveland. No. I don't think you'll ever get it. I got the I first. I don't think I got it, the first. What? The syllable. You said chic. It's more like Shah. Charlotte. Yeah. Charlotte what? Charlotte. I don't know. Charlotte Hornets, mate. Charlotte oh. Hornets. No, I was never getting that. What a team. What a team. Okay. I just think it says Charlotte on the front of their shirt. And yeah, they're the player not, called Charlotte. Not something they broadcast here in the UK. Much. No, you can watch basketball here. Yeah? You can watch it, but it's not on any TV show or TV mean? channels that we have. What are you on about? It's not popular. On Sky. No. Nah. Sky Sports NBA. 30,000 watches basketball in this country. Uh, basketball's way popular than you think, mm. man. It's like the second most popular sport. Here. used to play it. I know. Yeah. When you turn 19, you join the adult league, and then you get dunked on forever. So. It's become, hard when you're 19, six playing 35-year-olds. Become six foot eight. That's, that's tough dunk, to do. Dunk on them. Tough to do in the UK. Still think I can dunk a basketball. Never tried. That's, that's going to be two truths, one line. That's going to be the lie. I can dunk a basketball. Illusion boy. I've never done it, but I could. No, that is, that's podcast. That's podcast. Bye.